that's the monastery right there. And particularly this old monk. And the bees would get him like regular. <laughs> Another. That's where I think they I remember the floor is in that one. That hollow goes further up in that leg. Like, yeah, oh, is that right? Not only did I, not only did I recognize your voice, but it showed up on my phone. Look at this. The rooster is trying to resuscitate mouth to mouth with a queen bee. <laughs> so all I, all I have to do is get my brush and paint that bar, that bar, that bar right there. And then, and then my follow board, I also insulated that thing as well. Yeah, I like to fit it tight, huh? In three quarters of a mile, take a slight left turn onto River Road. Turned down. Yeah, I got that music turned down. Then we, then we want to, you know, credit it. I know. <laughs> it's I, always something. Huh? I don't want a copyright strike. Hey, before you pick up your stuff, I got it. I got it. Film. That's why I came out here. I wasn't gonna film you. Look at that pile of garbage over there. <laughs> it's gonna be in your garbage. That needs to go to my house. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me finish. Let me do. Let's this. go to lunch. Yeah. Well, let me. Let me. All right. We can do that after lunch. So I had an idea for this video to show you a little bit of the ins and outs of sideline beekeeping, but this video is turning into so much more. Uh, I'm kind of uh, excited about the footage I'm seeing. A lot of you have figured out where I'm at already. I'm at the St. Joseph Abbey and Seminary in Covington, Louisiana with Jeff Horchoff. He runs their bee program over there, and that's his YouTube channel name, Jeff Horchoff. And he, along with the Abbey, would be considered a sideline operation. So there's not a lot of agreement not that it's an argument but in the numbers of colonies some people say zero to 50 is a hobbyist and 50 to 500 or so is a sideline and above that's commercial university of florida says 100 to 300 you know if you're bringing income from somewhere else that's not your full-time thing it's you're still sideline who knows who really cares but jeff definitely falls within the sideline beekeeping operation so i want to show you some of his processes, some of his storage methods, some of his waxing. We're going to look at some of his out yards. We're also going to explore the Abbey, which I've never done on this channel. And I don't think anybody else has ever done, including Jeff Horchow. We're going to see parts of the Abbey that Jeff hadn't seen in many years and that I had never seen before. And I've done some, some uh, exploring over there, but never to this extent. We spent hours riding the property. I didn't even know they had a retreat over there, uh, way in the back of the property. And so we're spending time riding around in this ATV side by side and exploring the old barn on the property, looking at, the place was established in 1889, I believe. So there's well over a hundred years of property development, old buildings that are abandoned, equipment that's abandoned out in the fields or out in the woods. We found an old cedar bee tree. Uh, we're looking at some of Jeff's out yards, of course, and you know, just all kinds of stuff. So video is gonna be long. I'm, I'm putting a lot of the beekeeping stuff right at the beginning of it and then a lot of the exploration at the end. So if you wanna stick around for that, that's what a lot of that'll be. And otherwise you'll get to hear what we're talking about and anything, anything else that's going on. So I hope you enjoy the video. I know I enjoyed my time over there and I'm enjoying looking back at the footage. Let's go eat a Taco Bell, huh? 
Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we could go. We could go eat. You know, because I do owe you Taco Bell lunch. No, let's get some, let's get some real food now, bye. What? <laughs> I'm just saying that because I'm recording. <laughs> I, I'll buy. <laughs> what? Like? <laughs> I love those doors. Hey, some monk built these. They really did. I don't know. I like the old green screen. It's just well, look, a unique look. Look, look, at, look at what we got inside the screen. <laughs> <laughs> so the bees the bees come in here through all that hog wire right uh -huh. and then they try to get out through the door they get through they get through this little quarter inch screen right here and then they don't can't get through that mosquito net so look we got one trapped in there right now there's another one right now and the reason is because before when I had all of my my boxes stacked over here with all these frames in it they had a swarm getting ready to move in so this, I put it in the apple box right here. And so it's it's already baited, ready to go. It's got the, the lure on it. It's got all the good stuff in it. And they, they were scouting this thing so hard. I thought they would have moved in by now, but they never did. And and so then we moved all these boxes and I had to move the box. So. You know, I've got the, I've got an apple set setup like that, but I've got the apple may nuke and I'm finding the apple may nuke really handy for I'm, transporting queen cells. That's that's right here. So the apple may nuke. It's right here. What I love, what, this these these Apame hives are outstanding. They're they're outstanding. Yeah, they are. They they're insulated. They all have a a, a a a bottom pollen tray in them. Internal feeders on them. R6 value. It's IV protected plastic. They, they like they say ten years. And none of the stuff is even going to chip. Uh, I mean, these things. If you can afford them. Man, these these are. I'd love to have a you know, six hundred yeah, of them. Yeah, I know. Bruce, Bruce's bees has got eight or ten in his backyard. That's right. Yes, yeah, looks I've good. Seen but the Apple May nuke, I'm finding really handy for transporting cell, queen cells. The so other thing, what I'm that, doing is populating it with enough bees to man them, and then transporting frame of queen cells in there. The the other thing in these things is that that partition wall where you can divide this yeah. nuke into two three frame uh nukes right yeah, it's here got, it's got and the each, follower board and i've got one in the bed of my truck right now <laughs> yeah <laughs> each one has their own entrance you can you've got the different types of this one for another entrance up here uh and a reducer right there and there's the ventilator right there or just close it all off this this is like a gold mine to beekeepers right here this, i'm telling you <laughs> this is a gold mine and what what i got tops bottoms double screens boxes everywhere and and we've already moved out probably uh better than three quarters of it already it's already out in the field <laughs> These are all the boxes that they they sent me to do the the the, uh, the reviews the on. reviews on them, and they might get out. I, I don't know. I'm not I'm not worried about this. I I, I want to use my equipment. That's, but I definitely gonna be using the admin. We're gonna put a, a, a swarm into this one this year because I wanna I wanna do bees. In yeah, I'm the same. I've got it. I've got the double ten frame Apame setup that I haven't unboxed yet, but I've been using the the Apame nuke box. Well, I would, I, I would too, and I'm, I'm probably going to be using that as, as a two, two, three frame uh, nuke, is what I, so I can have two, uh, two yeah. uh, hives in there, just to if I get an extra queen, or just throw it in there with two frames, and boom, that's it. I, I, I love those things, oh, love them. Come here, let me show you what's on the other side. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I got, I got to show you that. This, this equipment is just right up your alley, right here. Look, <laughs> look at this. This, this is, is a brand new. This actually is are, last year's. Those are brand new. This is last year's frame right here, <laughs> and it was a dead out. And you can you can tell the difference between last year's and then two years ago. So this one might be. This is probably a two year two year ago frame. Yeah, I see a few older ones. But in there. man, there there is. I think we had thirty seven. I think that for some reason that number six. 37 dead outs of this year and they were all they were all new frames they were all new frames so this is what wax moths do to frames they'll eat they'll actually eat the sidebars in half sometimes oh i've got some in here i can show you that <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you have a few of them like that <laughs> yeah well the, the, the sidebar is just oh here's out. here's an old one yeah no, oh, let, okay here you go let me see let me show you this this is an old foundation that 
you'll never see mm -hmm. unless you have any equipment from commercial beekeepers. I don't know what it's called, but it, they stopped producing it long, long ago. It's a, I think it's called cellophane. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's, so, that's about how thick it is. It's a metal frame all the way around, all, all four sides. And it's got this plastic in the middle. And it's from old commercial equipment from years and years ago. That actually came from our, our boy Uncle Skip by you. Oh, did he? Yeah, that's where that came from. Yeah, that's, he, he's the, only, he's a commercial one, he's the only commercial guy that I know. And and Uncle Skip's helped me out in the, in, in the past. Now we've got this portion of the peacock pen heavily secured. <laughs> <laughs> It's childproof. <laughs> when on Friday, when all of our boxes were over there, check it out. Let's just let's have a moment of silence while we <laughs> check out this old old building, beautiful old building, all rough cut, all built by the monks, I yeah, believe. The monks built this. They actually pulled this timber off their property. All this is the the. How old is this? The buildings probably was built in the 60s. It might have been in the 50s. Got the, these almost look like hand-hewn posts. Some of them are. But they have a mill. They had a mill here. So they, they cut they cut beams. They cut everything here. But those actually do look like hand hand uh, They gave some poor old monk a hatchet and said, get busy, buddy. <laughs> More like a pocket knife. <laughs> yeah, here's your, here's your penance. There, right there's what actually... What do they call it when they... Yeah, penance. Penance. But, but <laughs> there's actually, in the rule of St. Benedict, there is one of his rules that, that say that when a monk goes to bed at night, he should never sleep with his sheath and knives. I brought my monk outfit. <laughs> my 628 Dirt Rooster monk outfit. <laughs> that's very up to code for the Benedictine monks. I'm that's telling it. you. Yeah. I, I, the only thing that I have that they don't is <laughs> drawstrings. Hey, did you bring your smoker, your incenser? <laughs> yeah, I did bring my smoker. Friday, when all of our boxes, all these boxes, and that's probably about 130 boxes over there, all those were in that building where the frames are, right there, and we moved them over into this building. And that way we could knock all the frames out and uh, stack these boxes. Now all these boxes still are yet to be cleaned. So you can see. Oh, that one's got wax moth damage. It needs to go. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no. Because this, this is a wax box right here. You can tell this was a wax box. And uh, so all of these boxes right here, all these are going to get cleaned up. And these are going to become our honey supers this year. I've got back here all of these boxes right here. These are all boxes where the foundations have been taken out. Um, and I can then, when I re-wax those foundations, I can pop them right back into here. So we've got all of these boxes. That's a lot of boxes, too. Yeah. Um, it, it's a lot of boxes in this over here. What's, your, what's your special box with the... Oh, that's a, right one. now. That's a swarm trap right now. That's a, a, a is that a flow hot box? Yeah, it's a flow hot box, and I never use that thing. So it's right now. I've got it baited right now, and it's it's got some nice old old uh, brood comb in it. That works good for a swarm trap, especially under here. Oh yeah, this this they'll they'll catch a swarm in here. It'll catch a swarm in here. These frames back here, all these boxes back here, these are also well, not that one. But is all that some of, these, of my boxes right there? <laughs> yeah, so all of these boxes, almost all of these boxes are just, they're no good for my for the field anymore. They'd be great for a rooster, but not, he's not going to get them because I use all these to store um, these frames in. And these frames, they're still great frames, but all of these are going to be used for cutouts uh, during the year. So I, I've, I've got all of these frames uh -oh, in these boxes. I stepped on some of Jeff's best comb. <laughs> yeah. We got some stuff. It's a mess. It's a mess in here. No, um, but we no, did it's clean not. It it's, out. A, it's actually pretty organized. Now o over here, on this on this side over here, I know it's not doesn't look organized, but it really is because all of this, man, this is this is when I catch a swarm. So I'm planning on catching about 30 swarms, really. And all of these boxes, 
all of these boxes look like this. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's all old brood comb. It's got a little moth yeah, that, in it. That ain't nothing there. Oh, no, no. That. For a swarm. I mean, in all of these, all of these boxes, that's what these boxes look like. I don't want to put them back on um, for my uh, brood this year, but for a swarm, man, this is all you need right here. I'm Why a, don't you want them on for your brood? Well, because for the brood, that's what all these boxes are down here. And and this is the difference between those and these. This is, this is honey super frames. Yeah, these are the honey super frames, and all they all of them look like this. You're not gonna put them back on for supers? No, these are gonna be the brood for this year. These are the these are all these right here are going on top of our old queens. So we've already done our splits. The the old queens right now only are single sitting with one single on them right now. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow, I actually go tomorrow, I got 62 of them um, that need these. So these are gonna go on the old queen. Man, she is gonna fill these things up. They'll clean it up, cause they all got a lot of bees in them. They'll clean yeah. it up, she'll start laying. And, and I guarantee by the end or the middle of next month, I'm gonna be putting my, my honey supers this one doesn't look like it went through the extractor. No, that's all robbed out. That's a robbed out one right there. Yeah, I was going to say, none, none of these look like they've been through the extractor. No, and, and so these are some of the frames that we pulled out. And you can tell that one's a robbed out one as well. Yep. Um, these were all pulled out of some of these boxes back here. And I don't want to put them as brood that these are all going to be part of swarm traps or... Uh, $40 a frame. <laughs> With drawn comb on it. <laughs> no, you know what? I, I, I actually do have a price already. Four dollars a frame. One of, these. one of these with old comb. That's a steal. Yeah, oh, I, see, I know it is. That is a steal. Heck, you buy a brand new frame. For, brand new frames are five dollars a piece. <laughs> and this one's got old comb on. Yeah, I got plenty. I've actually got too much for me. And so I'm gonna, I am going to sell some of them. But Charlie and I did 800 brand new frames. And I got some really nice uh, Premier Foundation. Um, that'll be going in there. Plus, I've got the foundation that I, I, I pressure washed. In fact, come on, let me show you that in the next build. One. So most of my stuff is acorn, and now and, he, and he's going to premiere. So he sold me all his acorn stuff <laughs> last year because he was like, "This stuff." <laughs> no, no acorn is acorn's good great. equipment. Yeah, but I did buy equipment. a bunch of his stuff last year that he had extra, and so uh, he was generous enough to share. <laughs> Such a good guy. <laughs> Yo, so. Come on over here. It's just a reminder. Don't get lost in the screen door. <laughs> Don't get trapped by Ed. <laughs> so in this building right here is where I, 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 I do my putting the wax on my foundation. And I got a ton of, of foundation to, to do. Uh, all of this, all of this foundation on, on this, this was all pressure washed. So there's about 500 foundations right here. And the process that I, I use to, to, to do my foundation, let me show you that. Before he gets into that, the reason that I could tell that those frames hadn't been through the extractor is because he's got a really uh, heavy duty uncapper, commercial uncapper. It's the Dixie chopper over there. He'll lay his frames out on the ground and just Run over him with that deck on low. Wow. Charlie will then he'll run behind me, flip him over, and I'll make a set. I'll back up, get make the, a second pass. Get the, the other side of him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, it's something else I got to show you too. Oh, you got Layton's frames that you're building. Yeah, you, well, built, you built these. Yeah, huh? I built those. So I, that's what I got. I, I'm gonna show you something that what I'm gonna do with the, with those things. But this is these. So like you get your foundations, and. My kettle, it's all settled up right now. And right now I've got about that much wax floating in the kettle. And then all of this is water. So there's about four, five, six inches of wax in there? Yeah, there might be, yeah, in that range right there. And so what I do is I, I just take my foundation and you see how it looks? And I dip it in there, holding the, my fingers out of it. How often do you drop one and have to go fishing? I don't. <laughs> no, I don't do that. And then I shake it off, get a lot of that excess off of it. And look at that. There you go. 
Ready to work. Yeah, so. They draw you, that out so fast. Oh, yeah, this is two sides of foundation in what, about 10 seconds? Yeah, yeah if that. And then, and then I just set them up on the boards and let them dry. And I do about 20 or 30 at a time, and then I'll gather them in. So these are some over there that I've already done, already sitting over there. So you are right, these, these, this is for my lands hive. And what I'm, what I'm doing is I just wanted to draw the, the cone. So I put a, so a triangular start. strip on the top, and then in between them, I take a square stick and I rotate it to make it triangular on the top and the bottom. So all I, all I have to do is get my brush and paint that bar, that bar, that bar right there, that bar right there. Man, and this is, this is gonna be, the bees are gonna love this. That's it. Now that's it. That's all I got to do. Just give them a starter. Come here. Let me show you. Let me show you where this frame is going to go. In fact, I just put it up yesterday. I just brought. I, I finished it yesterday, and we brought it out here yesterday. Man, we got these bees are just like unbelievable. This this hive right here was one that Charlie and I did a cutout up in Mount Pelier. I never got the queen on this one. She fell down um, off oh, the wall. Yeah. I saw her fall down and we That's looked That's a on, video you just put out recently. Yeah, and, and uh, I never found her. So the Monday after we did that, I started my splits, I found a queen cell, dropped the queen cell in it, and then two, uh, three days later, I went open it up again, and they had drawn out a superseding or emergency cell in there. So that's, I, I'm not going into that box until it probably, I'm gonna give it another week, and then I'm, I'll go in there and see if she's laying up inside of there. And this is, this is, believe it or not, Randy, you were there when we did this cutout right here. This is the one we did in Gulfport. Um, Long Beach. Long Beach, yeah, Long Beach. Okay. And, and look at them bringing in the pilot and all this orientation flight going on. They, 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 they're doing it. These bees are so active. Right now. These are just other um, swarms, or, or this is a swarm that I, that I caught in the right, right in the backyard, right here. Piston. So all of our hives right now are doing orientation. All of them. I mean, this is, this is what I just built. This looks like one of those Bearsville. It almost, it's, it's, well, what, what it is, is, um except for the inside looks like a coffin so is this where bees go to die <laughs> i got i got the coffin handle right here that, uh, <laughs> you do have a yeah. coffin handle on it <laughs> it's like a door knocker is that what you do before you go yeah, in that's it. hello I'm bees here. bees can i come in and and it's insulated it's all insulated i've got um if you look inside on in the screen bottom you can see there's two layers of r3 I see. I see inside that. of there and so these Frames all just sit in here, and they like that. I got a, a bar right here that gives me my B space on both sides of my frame. Well, look at that wood. And then, and then my follow board. I also insulated that thing as well. Yeah, I like to fit it tight, huh? So that's it's it's um, oh you insulated the no it's not oh, insulated but double, double panel it. yeah because I want when I did my last long hive it, it had um, ventilation issues and so this one I want to make sure that I don't get anything going any water issues on it I cut ventilation holes in both sides of it so there there shouldn't be any issue of of uh, air movement inside of the hive. When I when I put these boards together, they were they were tight touching. Really? That's how much they shrunk. Wow. Yeah. But this was all rough cut from a sawmill up the road, and because I, I wanted that look on it. Have you shot a video on this? No. Yet? No. I shot you it. saw it here first, folks. <laughs> no, this is gonna be. This is gonna. I'm gonna. We're we're um, gonna catch a uh, do a cutout Saturday, and uh, rocket scientist Steve is gonna be coming. Really? Yeah. All the way from Jennings. He's gonna come. It's a swarm that's been there no more than two weeks, 
And that swarm is gonna be installed in this box and I'll shoot a video on it. That nice. Yeah. It's really easy to see the bees in the light like that where you got the shadow behind yeah, it. Yeah, it is. It really is. You can see just how active those hives are. Hey, you wanna see these ones up back here? These are, all, all of these hives that I keep behind the honey house, these are all cut out. All of these are cut out. But I just split all these. Um, they're, they're all split. <laughs> I like your uh, your slum gum drops. It's also it's it looks also, like a cow pie sitting there. <laughs> is that what it is? It's a cow pie detergent. Yeah. Uh, See, yeah, I, throw, I throw my trash out here. You know? <laughs> this, this is my backyard. You don't go back here. <laughs> The, uh, these, these bees are look at all them hives all spread out there there oh yeah and 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 they're all splits look you can see on on that those back there where i got my sticks in the back of them from yeah. the splits because I, I when i take that uh the top box off when i when i had the bottom boards this, the double screen board in it that was the entrance so those bees got used to that entrance and so I still have a stick in it, but I got to pull that stick because I don't, I don't like working bees with the um, opening in the back. <laughs> <laughs> so th this is we, the system that I used this year. Jennifer uh, Brown. Yep. Hey Jennifer. <laughs> when when uh, when I do the split, and this is the split off of this one, the queen, I mark the queen box with a, a blue piece of tape, and then the black piece of tape is the um, with the with the emergency cell in it so all these ones with the emergency cells and i know there's the emergency cells because i looked at them I, I know there's in so these in uh about another two more weeks when i uh add my next um super onto this i'll go in and make sure we got a laying queen in them we're going we died out probably over the cold i went through it yesterday and i found this is all that was left of the of the bees is right here that was that was left of it and i remember that video that you had when the bees were dead and then about an hour later they started moving remember yeah they that? came back to life yeah <laughs> so so i was thinking well maybe they came back to life right so on here this is where i found this is where i found my queen she's right here i tried to because i was i didn't really know if she was dead or not but she was like she was look she is still alive oh, she is alive she still is alive yeah. Put her in the sun or put her in your hands and warm her up yeah because uh but she still is that's amazing she is still alive and these some of these might be alive too but they're probably all still alive what what happened what happened was there was just a small cluster of bees and look you can tell what happened they yeah. got robbed out mm -hmm. they, they couldn't they couldn't do anything so put her on the pile and let's set her in the sun and see what she does Yeah, yesterday it still was pretty cold yesterday. Oops, That's two I've had to pick out of my hair. <laughs> 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 they don't like my monk shirt. <laughs> it's something. I, when I saw her yesterday, she 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 was still plump, you know? So I, I really didn't think she was dead, but these guys, I just I think I they're don't. I think they're all still alive. They're just in starving. That, in that state and starving. Yeah, and and probably beat starving. up from a fight. I mean, there's there's so little hope of that queen making it anyway. Look at this, the rooster is trying to resuscitate mouth to mouth with a queen bee. <laughs> Man, that is real dedication right there. <laughs> oh, and the lip! <laughs> Do you have a pulse? Do you have a pulse? I used to do this at night when uh, the air conditioner wouldn't come on. My dad wouldn't let me change the air conditioner, wouldn't let me change the thermostat, and I'd sneak in the hallway and go <laughs> and breathe on the thermostat just to get the air conditioner to come on. <laughs> uh, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking that that queen is saying, "Man, you need to some she's scope." Like, she's like, "That's some CO2 right there." You need some scope, brother. Look at that. You got her walking. It's a miracle! <laughs>
that's how you do. Let's get in there where the shadow's not on it. Is it on? Is the camera on? Yeah. It's is just, it? It's just a uh, hammering it. Check it out, yo. That's how you give mouth to mouth to a queen. You need a queen? I'll warm her up a little bit more. No, I don't need one. Uh, that one's moving. Yeah, that one did. Yeah, that one yeah. right there's moving too. I guess we gotta leave leave that queen with her. Uh, you don't have to. You can put her wherever you want to. She's not gonna survive. Uh, no, I don't think so either. Look at her. She better go back to work. <laughs> She's laying an egg on you. <laughs> <laughs> she better go back to work. <laughs> Hey, you want her or you want to? Yeah, just put it in there. Get with your people. Man. The only thing I'm sorry about is you got that on video and not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. This one right next to them. This will probably be where the next one goes. Well, not the next one, but one of them. Yeah. Won't even move it. <laughs> I guess we'll just take a seat. So are you going are you going big? Going big? No, uh uh no. Yeah, just check just start at the prices and just go. <laughs> so the whatever, whatever the highest two dollars quesadillas. <laughs> I got a shrimp. Tres hermanos. Oh yeah, yeah. Los los tres hermanos. It's pretty good too. We're in uh, Covington. Okay. Yeah, Covington. It's a good restaurant. Just right. <laughs> well, that was good. Yeah. Left it 25% tip because that's how I roll, baby. <laughs> 25 percent. 25 percent on a $25 ticket. Big money right there. Big money. Well, you are YouTube famous. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't like, you know, throw roll out the red carpet for you. <laughs> what dirt sick 28 gun rooster? Well, welcome in, senor. They probably done that for you already. As long as you know they would do that. <laughs> man, oh man, I'm not like you. This thing's sun bleached. How long has that been hanging there? It used to be yellow. <laughs> <laughs> now, but now I've had my fingers all over you. It's mostly it's mostly yellow from all the sneezing I was doing. It. <laughs> <laughs> See a lot of that. That that's most of that stuff is my wood over there. So I, I put it all in, but so this is this is. Yeah, I need my good camera in here. Oh, you want to go get it? No, it's alright. So this this won't light upstairs. Upstairs? Yeah. So we're gonna go up. up. I ain't going up that. Oh yeah, you gotta come up here. It this won't is, hold me. <laughs> yeah, well. Look at it's wobbling with you on it. <laughs> this is this is where the cool stuff is up here. Look at it. it had, the steps are half chewed off of it. Dude. Look at that. Uh, that'll bust, I'm telling you. Look, look at that. <laughs> it's a <the> trap door. <laughs> this is where all the cool stuff is up here. I mean, up here, a lot of, well, they, they probably used just the stuff in the monastery. Now they got the stuff. This whole dried out ladder. If I fall, I ain't gonna fall far because there's a bunch of easels. It's cracking. Yeah, come on, let's go. Well, it's cracking. I'm not coming up. I'll just stick the camera up here and look around. <laughs> Like a periscope. Here, give me, I'll shoot some for you. <laughs> yeah, is it on? Yeah. You sure, huh? Oh, yeah, okay. Now it's just storage. But down at this end, they, they used to have a lot of old furniture down here. This old cabinet right here. This old chest, another old cabinet. All of this stuff. Used to be in the monastery at one time. These old cabinets. They used to have a lot of old chairs. This looks like modern chairs up here. And then all of them. That was a freaking rat. <laughs> that was a cat. 
It ran across my head. <laughs> the doors. I'm yeah. having to hold my weight off of this ladder so I can see. And then they got they got a pile of old doors behind all these washing machines right here. And some more old, old furniture back up in here. Let's see. Oh, I didn't have enough light to even see in here. I ought to open up that barn door. All right. Hey. <laughs> and it, you see, like, all the all the floorboards, you can see. All this is cut yeah. right here. This was all cut on their mill. It's all a circular sawmill. I'm telling you, at one time, it was all open. It's full of old stuff. They've got They've got some chandeliers from the church back there that are... I mean, worth eighty, ninety thousand dollars just back up in there, just wow. on the ground. Just collecting dust. Yep. I love this ladder. One of the first times I came here. Yeah, I love that ladder too. As long as I don't ever have to climb it. <laughs> <laughs> One of the first times I came here, they, they, I found a bunch of um, Walter Kelly stuff. Yeah. So this is this is the uh, monks. Um, Machine shop. Machine shop. Yeah. Well. Is for or a welding shop. Iron, iron works. Brother Joseph, he's a young monk. Got to be to handle all that steel. Oh, man. You got to cross over down there. It's too dangerous. So I come in here for um, when I when I pilfer and I look for stuff to material. <laughs> gonna go take a quick run to the back. This is a really nice lock right there. They didn't lock it, so I'm not gonna lock it. shooting a movie and I don't know the name of it but uh, this was a, a whole movie set if you've been following our channel for a little while you may have seen photos because I did take a lot of pictures of it last time I was back here but that's what we're coming up into now there was a complete old movie set old cars everything and now it's just the, the old buildings Big 
that's the, the drainage. You done caught a swarm. Hey, there's somebody knocked the lid off of it. No, no, that was a dead out. I'm telling you, that's a dead out. Hey, you caught a swarm. They're definitely in there. Well, this is this is that video that I shot when I um. Well, look I was... at that that second set down there. Look at how busy they are. Those are mean bees over there. All those are mean bees. Every one of them. All right. Well, we won't check those out yeah, too close. Are. That pine tree right there is where all the swarms go up to that tree right there. And <coughs> there used to be a, a, an external hive up on one of those limbs. If you'd park a hay rake out here like Okie Rob, Okie Rob catches all his swarms on a hay rake. <laughs> it's the magic and, hay rake. <laughs> but then he goes and gets his uh, track hoe and he, and he gets them from his track hoe. <laughs> when, I, when I tang the bees on that video a couple years ago, that's where I did it, right here. They, they were in the pine tree, I knocked them out, and then they started flying, uh, what's that, that the uh, north, that way, and I tanged them back, and then they came right back and they ended on the box right here. That's good, I, I caught that small one. Yeah, are you counting that one? No, I, I, don't, I don't count that one. These are our other ones. I told you I tanged some bees last year, huh? No. They ate my head up. Oh, look, so you see my screen board right there? Is there two colonies in that first box? Yeah, there's two colonies. So that one, that one, I got to come in tomorrow. We'll go and look at that one. And they'll be set up. The bunch of cells in the bottom box. I like your little roofs out here. Oh man, that's that's a this this is nice. Put these roofs over these, these hives. Look at look at the activity on these hives. I know. It. And all the, uh, they are working. Yeah, they're working. ones that are single boxes were the ones that were split and those are the old queens and then the hive right next to it that's just where the split came from what are the what are the frames laying on that table in the middle those are frames from that long hive that I, I had right here. in fact it's right over here it's in the woods are they the right dimensions no for I, a blank frog no I built those What is it? That was the long high that I built, <laughs> and that's what's all that's left of it. And what happened was that the water. 
Oh, this is what flooded back here. This flooded right here, and I had the, the timbers along this back edge right here. The water got so high. There's one timber. Look, there's see the timber right here. Yeah. See that? Yeah. It floated from over there to right there. Yeah. We're in the swamp, yo. We might see some water moccasins. There's a, a beaver pond. Nah, it's too dry. too dry in here right now for any water markers, but no, we, we might see a, a rattlesnake. No, I think the moccasin would be better. <laughs> I think that it's a little uh, beaver pond. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, I just found a giant water moccasin. Are you serious? Yeah. Big, big one. Is it still there? Nah, it just slithered off down in the down in the pond. He was big around as your leg. Yeah, I'm telling you, they they got him out here. Oh, is that, is that what this is? Is that what this <laughs> tiny little thing's for? Just <laughs> to throw at him and run. <laughs> Take that! <laughs> Stack some boxes oh, yeah. before this privet comes then, on. Oh, I know. I, that's what I say. I got another week. Yeah, but it's, you can't use it. It's not, you can't use it. I'd walk 
find that ladder in that barn. <laughs> Come to meditate. Uh, this chair over here. No, that's seminary. This, there you got the, he's got this little hut built over him, huh? <laughs>
Is that four-wheel drive? Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, it's well, on the fly. You can let's go back and stop see in it. This four-wheel drive right there. No, here's the four-wheel drive right there. So you got um, two wheel drives. Here's a good four-wheel drive one. <laughs>
five miles from the Abbey right now? If you if you went out on the road uh -huh. that way, it's about eight. Okay. And it's only about three miles this way. And we're still on Abbey property, right? Oh yeah, this is all Abbey. That's a that's a dream campsite back there. A what? A dream campsite back there on that creek. On that creek. So, so this this is Camp Abbey, and now the Archdiocese of New Orleans runs it. But this is where we used to build our caskets. So there's dormitories over here. And uh, man, I bring my metal detector, and I, I used to metal detect in this field right here. This is the old chapel. This is where we used to store our caskets in the, in the chapel right there. And that's, that's where we built the caskets. Going and going and going. Well, the monks used to run. So that's the swimming pool back there. Big old swimming pool. And there's a pond over there. It looks like it gets used from the wear on the ground. And, and the rope too. Yeah, the rope broke. Yeah, there used to be a saw blade like as an entrance over there. Creek that runs by the Abbey. 
and they've got they've got this this bluff. I mean, it's just like it, it should be in the movies. It's so beautiful. I haven't been here in five or six years. Well, we couldn't have picked a better day for it because it's beautiful weather. This, this is gorgeous. Perfect weather. It's probably 65 degrees. Feels good, whatever it is. Yeah.
ônibus. said no vehicles beyond this point <laughs> <laughs> we're breaking the rule <laughs> breaking the law breaking the law <laughs> This is, they call this the meditation pod in Mars. I saw it. They're having a hard time meditating and swatting bees and stuff. <laughs> there because they cut through the trees right here because that's the monastery right there. And particularly this old monk. And the bees would get him like regular. <laughs> <laughs> and so he would wind up cutting through over there. He'd stop cutting through there. And, and they, they asked us, Jeff, you got to move those. He probably wasn't praying hard enough is what the deal was. That's what I should have told him. You need to pray hard enough. Pray. Please won't get you. <laughs> <laughs>
I know it. You look like the Grim Reaper with this little thing on the back. <laughs> I'm his helper. <laughs> it's a weekend gig. You're in training. <laughs> That's why they gave you the, the practice one. <laughs> yeah. They don't trust you with the full fledged one yet. Well, this has been a fun day. Yeah, we better go load you up some frames. We gotta go around because I can't even get through right there. <laughs> We're dodging low limbs and cars. Yeah. And Cypress knees. That does look wicked though. Yeah. Stop at that tree up there where that gate's grown in. Let me get a picture of that. Yo. Yo. Randy. Yeah. It's Chris. Yeah. Kinder. Yeah, I know. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you like? You like my dad? When my dad calls me, he goes, "Hey, son, this is your dad." I'm like, yeah. Is that right? Not only did I, not only did I recognize your voice, but it showed up on my phone. Yeah. <laughs> I still can't believe you managed to get a hive tool to bend one of my hive tools. Oh look, man, I, I, never, I can I could break I anything. Never, we're out riding around you know, we're out riding around the back of the Abbey looking and uh just enjoying our day. Yeah. It's a nice day. <laughs> Cause he didn't have nothing else to do, so I'm just eating up his day too. <laughs> Let me call you back. Let me call you back when we get off this bogey so I can hear you. Well, you know, in this area right here, they have those, um, I don't know the name of that type of bee, but those solitary bees that live in the ground. Yeah. They're, 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 they are bees, not wasps, they're bees, but in the summertime, in fact, these these little you, those little piles of mud right there, yeah. that's the bees. Huh. That's them. And and I, I I made a video on it one time. I remember that. I don't guess we have those in our area. But. No, it's it. They're solitary bees. These are solitary bees. And when the, when the, in the summer when the grass dies down a bit, this this area is dry and you see all their their holes and you can see them going in there all this used to be clear you could see you could know, see that too easy look how many years it's going to be coming back here but that is a fine old seed of tree wow look they got a little fire pit that's right huge there. I'm gonna take a souvenir brick home. <laughs> Look at them. You got a hive in there? Yeah, see them? They still got bees in here. This thing will have bees in it for another 50 years. I don't know, you reckon they'll stay in that long? Well, I, I know they're not there every year, but they are this year. Man, look at the base of that thing. That's an old tree. It was an old tree. That's three and a half, four foot across at the base. That's a big boy. How about that? We found us some bees. They got themselves a nice little opening right there. Yeah, they do. 
but that's not where they were before. Well, there's another. That's where I think they I remember before is in that one. That hollow goes further up in that leg. There's another one right here. That must be a nicer one there. It's not as rotten. <laughs> well, it's, it's a e high rise. It's, it's up high. They got the good <laughs> view. <laughs> Moving on, it's easier to defend too. It's got a smaller hole. Yeah. Well, the top of it, how twisted it is where, where it's broken over. So typical of cedar. That wind, wind blown, wind blown. He probably won't even go to say, oh, he's lying, ain't no bees in that tree. <laughs> Stand up next to it. I'm just trying to see if there's another one up there. I know there's been bees in this tree since 2012. That's when I first started coming around here. So 10 years. What are all these red berries? That's just a, um, they, they grow everywhere. It's, they don't, that's about as tall as they get. You don't know what they are, huh? No, I don't know what they are. I've seen them up in Laurel area, but we don't have them on the coast. Really, that, you don't have them? I, think, I don't I think, think so. They like the, um, I haven't noticed them. The, 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 these are everywhere in, the, everywhere in the woods, but they don't get much bigger than that. Thirty foot, thirty foot drop down in there, easy, if not more. And it goes all the way to, to the, almost to the river. It probably does go to the river. You don't have that thing on your phone to tell you what that stuff is. Mm -hmm. See that? See the cinematic movement? <laughs> <laughs> That's this stuff is so common. Christmas berry or marlberry. Marlberry. That is what it is. That's it right there. Marlberry. Hanson's Eye, Coral Ardesia, Coral Bush, Australian Holly, Coral, Coral Berry Tree, Spice Berry, Coral Berry, Hilo Holly, and Scratch Throat. I like the name Scratch Throat. Christmas Berry though, I guess is the... Mm -hmm. it, it does common. look like Holly. Okay, Christmas Berry, a species of Marl Berry, or Ardesia. So it's Christmas Berry. That's a good one.
gotta tell you, me and Mr. Ed had the best time today. And I come home in time to go catch two swarms. Hopefully. Yeah. Can you go there? Hey. Hey! Are my bees gone? So luminous and vibrant. I'm always in I'm stranded, a castaway, an unknown shore. 